Hey, hello friends. Welcome to Build Learning Club. In this video, I am talking about Django Signal. If I tell you what is the first thing come on your mind when I talking about Signal, and that is very simple. That is send something or receive something. So one is the sender and other is the receiver. Let's take an example. Whenever I upload a YouTube video, you will get a notification only if you turn on the notification icon. That means I send something, you received something. Exactly, that's the signal. You can see here in this picture also. Here it is a YouTube, and I uploaded a video on YouTube, and YouTube sent a signal to user. That means the subscriber, and you will see the notification now the django signals your website has a register form and you want to automatically create a profile when a user register for this using something is called django signals i have created a, a django signal tutorial please watch this video link in description box after watching it so you are a user you register your profile and then django send a signals if signal is okay then automatically created a profile for you so what is the signal dispatcher so signal dispatcher is basically to notify something of some happens you register then django send a signal if signal is okay then create the profile automatically Let's talk about implementation. Sometimes you requested the server generating OTP. If your credential or your detail is correct, then server would send a OTP. But the question is how many times do you want to send the OTP to a particular user? You can control this by using the Django signal. If your credentials is okay, then signals is okay then server sent otp to the user and you can control how many times you want to send the otp to any particular user so that's it for the django signals and i have uploaded already a django signal tutorial video please watch this and the link is inside the description box thank you thank you friends